Well, hell yeah. I'm super excited for what you got planned, what you got going on, man. What I will tell you is never downplay your accomplishments to make people around you feel comfortable. Either they going to step their shit up or get the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because we here now. And I'm super, you know what I'm saying, proud of where you at right now in your life, fam. Because if we go back five years, we talking 2014, 2015, we still at the beach. And you know me. You know I don't give a fuck about anything. And I made it known what I was going to do or what I was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? At the time. And I used to always uh, push you. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted you to feel how I felt about my goals and dreams about yours. And now you a dog. You know what I'm saying? Before you was soft spoken. You was timid. And I think that kind of got in the way of you stepping into the man that you needed to be. You know what I'm saying? Now you an animal. Now you got the competitive drive. You know what I'm saying? To push yourself to the limit and really... Put your family and put your craft, you know what I'm saying, in a position of greatness. So, I mean, you know it's love. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm constantly watching. And I still remember them talks we had, fam. Like, iron sharpens iron, man. You helped me. And, and I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, I helped you. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love on this end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dear Shakur. Um... If we go back to like 2014, um, I got a job at the beach or International Park for those that live in Clayton County. You know what I'm talking about. But um, I got a job there and um, it was basically like maintenance. We would clean up trash and things like that or whatever. And I met this guy, um, you know, his name was Shakur. But like, you know, our first glance for me, you know, he just seemed like a dude I guess you wouldn't necessarily approach. Um, and uh, it was crazy. Like, I don't even know how to really explain it. Just like, I would work and stuff with him. And um, just throughout time, we got cooler and cooler. And uh, it was just like an immediate bond between the two of us. And um, I didn't know then and there um, that was somebody that I would look up to in a sense, like as a mentor. Didn't even know that was the role. That's what you would call it back then. Because I think at that age, I was just going into 2014. Um, so that must have been like my sophomore year, sophomore year. And um, yeah, it was crazy because everything that you see now as far as me, like, um, having this this mindset to go and get it and, and be on it is because of Shakur. Um, I remember all the time when I used to work and stuff, he would always like encourage me. And it was strange because there was other people at the job and stuff, of course, but the way he spoke to me was way different than them. It was like he always was kind of like that father figure in the sense to be like, you're going to do this or like, you know, don't worry about this or that. Like he used to tell me all the time. And I didn't get it. He was like, bro, don't worry about the girls. This is hilarious. He's like, don't worry about the girls. He said, just focus on like your craft and really hone in on that. And everything you're looking for is going to come to you. Like it's just going to fall right into place. And um, that always stuck with me. And I never really like understood, like, why is he like, you know, so persistent with me on really working and getting towards a certain goal but I guess it was something really it was God that he was speaking through him that seen something in me that I didn't even see or was understanding that was about to be foreshadowed um but yeah it's it's it's, it's crazy just to think back on how that was however many years ago that was and I'm sitting here right now at a place where I used to be at and I'm able to speak about this but um I remember one key thing that stood out that I remember is that um, I believe it was 2015, that was the last year um, that we was there. Um, we had somewhat like of a fallout, not really. It was like some, some personal things that took place and you know, it didn't really seem like the bond used to be or how it was how it used to be. And um, I remember he still always told me like, yo bro, this stay on your craft and 
continue to grow and to continue to uh, focus. Don't lose focus of what you want to do. And I remember right before I went to college, um, I made a goal and I was like, bro, I'm going to I'm gonna have a 4.0 GPA. That was like my goal for real. And um, I graduated high school with a 2.8 GPA. And for me, it seemed like it was impossible to, you know, basically get to that point or to like grow and think like, oh yeah, I can have a 4.0. Like it just seemed like that was well beyond me. But I remember I went to the Art Institute of Atlanta and my first semester I made like, I think it was the Dean's List and I had a 4.0 and you know, I had my picture taken and all this stuff. And it was all because I was really trying to, of course, prove myself, but it was like, like Shakur, I did this, you know what I'm saying? And everything that I did, I, it was almost like I, I would put him um, as the standard where I needed to be because I always just seen, cause I never had a big brother, you know? So it was kind of like he was that person that, um, pushed me to go further like as if I had a brother and um and like that video y'all seen in the beginning I would always play that back and I had it recorded in my phone not really knowing why like I screen recorded it but I didn't really know why I did um until now you know um I've been on tour with uh rappers as an engineer um I'm starting to operate clearly in camera and film and stuff like that but it's like none of this was instilled in me prior to Shakur I know your parents they tell you you know um, do your best and try your hardest but to actually see somebody from the outside in believing in you on something that you can't even see yet is really what spoke to me and it's just like amazing um that this is what it is like <laughs> like you know I'm, I'm walking in this because someone pushed and believed in me this much and what you're aspiring to be almost like he had the vision for me before I even seen it myself so um really this video is just to say thank you um and to let others know like if there's someone in your life it's your parents, um, a mentor, a friend, and they mean something to you, let them know. Um, and don't take these relationships that you have along the way in your life for granted because truthfully they're mile markers if you think about it. Um, you'll meet people, right? And you may never see them again in your lifetime. But in that moment that you met them, they had something for you that um, was along your way, which is why they're a mile marker. And, you, and um, you have to take that and really thank God that he gives you these people when he does, because there's a reason, there's a very divine appointment that God has for you um, when you come into contact with these people and never like, just think nothing of it. Um, so yeah, basically, um, I just wanna say Shakur, I appreciate you, man, um, for all you've done. Um, words can't really express how much you made an impact on my life and uh i just hope that this message is relayed the best as i can um and yeah uh i appreciate everybody that's tuning in um oh yeah i guess i should say this because it's gonna go on youtube <laughs> like share subscribe um and even with YouTube, man, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just talk about that real quick. When it comes to creating, um, don't feel pressure to do it because others are telling you to do it. Right? Make sure your heart posture is in it. You know, don't go and create stuff or don't go and do things when your heart isn't necessarily in it, and you're kind of just doing it because you see like a wave. You know what I mean? If you do it out of a, a unpure heart. The, the intentions and the results from it will never be what you're looking for so um yeah man that's all i got so hope y'all enjoyed see y'all next time